Uh, to my left uh, is Frank Malul, um, who is um, from I24 News, and uh, he's the CEO, and he will be giving a short presentation about uh, his company. Uh, next to him, Doran Raviv, COO of Satlink Communications. And uh, on, on my far side, um, Eli Uzan, Chairman of Screens. So before we get into the kind of uh, the debate about um, what uh, has been achieved in Israel, um, I thought it'd be useful for each uh, of our contributors to tell you a little bit about their company uh, and their story and how they see um, the development of tech in Israel. So to start with you, Frank, if you'd like to um, tell us about your company. Okay, uh, good morning. Um, I just want to tell a little story about uh, I24 News. I24 News is the newest international news channel broadcasting from the heart of uh, the Middle East. And uh, I'm, I'm very emotional to be here this morning because I used to come to, to the MIP, but it's the first time coming as a CEO and to explain what is uh, the first startup international news channel. Because just one year ago, there was nothing, nothing about I24 News, just a white paper. And it's the first channel that we built from the scratch. And how to build from the scratch uh, with a startup mindset. With a startup mindset because we uh, found a place in the Jaffa port, a big hangar in Tel Aviv, 2,000 square meters, there was nothing. And we built this free channel in French, English, and Arabic speaking in 100 days. We start to build at the end of March and we launch the free channel the 17th of July, which is amazing to launch this kind of international news channel, but it's also amazing to find people with a startup mindset to have the, the energy to build uh, this kind of international news channel. So also, uh, it's not another international news channel, as we used to say, because there is another way to see the world. Where you are broadcasting from the Middle East, and you know that in the Middle East it's not so quiet, uh, it's very interesting to, to see beyond. To see beyond is the tagline of I24 News, because there is many international news channels in the Middle East, but it's also important to share other values, because we are broadcasting from Israel, and Israel is a democracy in the Middle East. So to see beyond is also the I-24 news meaning. So what is the I-24 news meaning? Of course, I for Israel. We can find also I for Islam. We have I for international. We have I for information. Everybody can find his own I in I-24 news. So I want to say also that it's the channel of the diversity because it's the only newsroom in the world, unique newsroom, where you have uh, 150 journalists with 35 nationalities, Jewish, Muslim, Christian, agnostic, seculars, producing together the same content with three studio, one in French, one in English, and one in Arabic. So it's one strategy, one editorial line, three languages, one channel. So also, we are the last international news channel born in the digital era, so it's very important for us to use the Israeli uh, new technology uh, to build this channel. And in the newsroom in I24 News, you don't have border between uh, the content of the broadcast and the content of the multimedia. Uh, if you are watching the channel in the multimedia, it's exactly the same in streaming live that you are watching on uh, the regular uh, broadcast. So anywhere in the world you can find the channel because we are streaming live on the applications on the smartphone, tablets, and everything. But also we are uh, broadcasting with a satellite coverage. So I'm doing also the presentation of Satlink because this is the footprint of uh, Satlink. We are covering all Asia, Europe, Africa, and Middle East. And we have a branding block now uh, since uh, two weeks uh, in America. And if everything is OK, in the summer, we will broadcast 24-7 in all America. My first target is to be the alternative of Al Jazeera. Okay. Alternative in, uh, in, in values, in values, of course, in editorial, and to be part of the zapping of the international market. And after seven months, I'm very happy to see that we are starting to succeed. 
Okay. Thank you. Uh, and Doran, if you'd like to tell us about Satlink. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we, we, in Israel there is a commercial about oranges. So you see in the commercial, the orange, a company that produces oranges, you see in the commercial that they are, what they are doing, they're just producing oranges. They just squeeze oranges in order to make an orange juice. So what we do, we just deliver content. This is our profession. We take the content everywhere in the world and we move it to every place in the world, whatever is needed. For example, I-24. It's a bit more complicated than squeezing orange juice. But uh, we, this is what we are doing. We do it for 20 years. We locate it next to Jerusalem, and we are located in all areas around the world. I mean, Europe, States, Asia, and Africa, and, and this is what we are doing. So, so when you say you just deliver content, uh, what makes you unique uh, against other people who deliver content? We, we try to do it, of course, uh, very fast. We try to do it with, uh, you know, a bit of advanced technology. We, we deliver it everywhere. I mean, not only everywhere. If you need it on the internet, you need it on the satellite, you need it uh, uh, um, any means of uh, delivery of content. That's what we're doing. We're taking the content from our suppliers and, uh, and we work with them and for solutions. And we find a way to do it uh, faster and cheaper. And, uh, you know, last uh, two months, we just uh, launched channels. We knew about it a day before, and we launched it uh, in two hours, in the States, in Europe, and in, uh, in Asia, in a matter of two hours that we knew about it. And it was on Friday. You know, in Israel, Friday, it's a very tough day to work. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so this is what we are doing, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, and Ellie, your company is uh, a younger, uh, newer company. I have to express uh, vested interest because we have a project that Absolutely. we've announced together at MIP, but maybe you'd like to share with uh, the audience uh, what your company does. Sure, um, so good morning. I will give um, a bit of a background. So uh, two years ago, we started uh, Screens, and, um, and I think um, when, when you look at the industry, uh, international and globally, and not just in Israel, um, you see that there is a huge gap between technology and content. Um, this is two industries that are supposed to work together so closely, but uh, I think a good example is uh, what you see in the States, that there is the, the fly be between LA and Palo Alto in Silicon Valley, where all the startups are. It's 45 minutes, but no one takes that flight on a regular basis to develop stuff. Um, and I think in Israel something happened that is a bit different and we see how television and, and digital and technology is melting together. Um, and screens started working exactly like the format industry as uh, we, we divide all our platforms uh, to segments of content from um, cooking, dating, reality, talent shows, and the platforms enabling the, the the shows and the formats to be a 360 experience uh, that involve the audience and not with television that is in one medium and the digital as other because at the end television will be broadcast to just digital and the way and everything will be connected and I think we can see it in the, our um, um, last project as the rising star that we are doing with Keshet, uh, the digital. Clearly, you know, you are three successful uh, tech and uh, platforms in Israel. Um, this uh, market is dominated by Israel, both in terms of content uh, and, and tech. Um, why is it that Israel, which is a, a relatively small country, is so successful at this time? Frank? Maybe I, I can give another point of view, like my, my two friends, because I'm coming from abroad. Uh, I was in France, uh, I was working in France 24, and I decided to join Israel to launch uh, this amazing challenge. But I have to say, what I was discovering in Israel, it's an amazing energy. And we used to, sp to speak about Israel and to say it's the startup nation. I don't think I could build I-24 News as a startup international news channel in another country than Israel. Because they are formatted like that. They are thinking like that. Everything has to be faster. 
Mm. Everything has to go uh, more quickly than in another place because they don't have time. So, Doran, you're an, you're an Israeli. What is it about the Israeli culture that uh, influences the success in the media space? Well, I, I think there is many things, uh, and I try to think about it, and I think about it yesterday a lot, you know, and all the time. I, I want to be a bit philosophical and a bit of an, an, an anthropology, uh, and you know, if you are religious guys, you are dealing all the time with problems. If I can do that, if I cannot do that, if I can do this, I can do this, and 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 you're all the time facing problems while you're living. I'm not a small problem; sometimes a big problem. And this is something in our nature. We are all the time in a my mind, in our mind, facing problems and see how to solve them. And, and this is how we came very creative. This is one of the things. The second thing is, you know, we are a nation that built from another nation. So we have a lot of people that coming from any content in the world that came to Israel. And so the mixture is huge. Then you put the 40 degrees uh, centigrade in summer and 95% of the humidity, you get very creative. <laughs> And of course, then young people are 18, they are finishing school and immediately they are throwing out to the army, which they leave home and then they need to live by themselves for mm. a few years and learn to do things by themselves. And when they're going out, they're using the knowledge and the ideas of solving and creating and, mm. and finding solutions in their daily days. So this is, I guess, what we are... Uh, getting very successful in it. Uh, picking up on what Doran just said, Eli, um, the army training is, is a discipline, but also how much is the technology that's developed within the army influencing the kind of the, the, the startup uh, media technology in Israel? Um, I think that you can see a lot of uh, the guys that are, you know, in the um, army divisions that are tech are going right straight after to all the biggest, highest either companies and build their own startups. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's not just this. I think this is uh, one thing, and the Army have kind of a um, hub to, to and, and all the uh, biggest uh, companies just uh, you know, chasing those uh, guys when they are uh, out of the Army. But this is uh, uh, one thing. I think that the, the one, uh, one imp more important thing here is that uh, Israel is a country without uh, natural uh, resources. And when you don't have uh, resources, you can't be lazy. You know, when you have like a huge amount of oil, um, you can wait. You can do uh, the other things. And when you when you don't have uh, other options, you just start being creative. I don't think it comes from. Uh, it comes also from a survivor. You Isn't the, the joke they say that Moses should have turned left rather than right, and he would have got the oil rather than? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it will uh, be less creative but uh, more uh, wealthy. To be uh, slightly provocative, um, Gary Carter, the chairman of Shine Group, North Europe, said in his presentation on Sunday, despite the international perception of the success of Israel, it's all marketing and, and hype. Uh, how much is Israel's success, both in content and in tech, uh, a great marketing campaign? And, and the reality is uh, not uh, that Israel are as successful as they appear to be. I don't think there is a... Um, there is, um, a it's two separate things. So the marketing is one thing, and I think that Israel is doing great marketing, and you can see it here in MIP that uh, there is a lot of uh, Israeli presence. Uh, but at the other end, there is a really nice result. If you look at the iTech industry or the content industry, you see an amazing success from uh, companies like Waze and uh, Viber, and uh, a lot of companies that are in the iTech industry, they are, it's, it's already proven tested. It's not just uh, marketing and hype. Um, and, and I think you, you, you will see, you see it in, with the time and uh, with the content, uh, it will take a bit more because it's uh, started a bit uh, later. Um, but I think I can summarize, it's, uh, it's just two separate things that are both, I think, good. And uh, I hear a lot about the lecture. I, 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 uh, I didn't have the chance to uh, watch it, um, but I know Gary and he's uh, a friend. And, and I think that um, if you look what stays from the lecture is the same thing, is uh, hype and marketing, because if you think what is the, the lecture was, is about the hype, and this is what people are just discussing a day after. Yeah. I mean, Israel, without doubt, has been punching above its weight now for a number of years. Um, how, Doran, does it keep itself you know, ahead of the game and in, in the position it is now, 
um, in the next few years? No. I, I think a lot of hard work and a lot of good ideas and a lot of technology because we are we, every time and every day there is a new and, and I'm seeing a lot of it a new technology that's coming out of Israel and, and probably affect the industry and, and, and you know it's getting better faster and, and a lot of creative ideas how to do it cheaper and and and, and there is, you know, uh, if you look, you looked in the street of Tel Aviv, there is so many startup companies that are dealing with uh, telecommunication, and uh, not only in telecommunication, I feel, any, any industry, and in telecommunication you see it a lot because it's very fast, but it's there. And, and, and I see, you know, Frank could tell by himself, you know, they started the channels, how many days it took you to start? 100. 100 days, approximately. So imagine, 100 days to start from nothing from scratch, from zero, to broadcast around the world, you need, you need energy, you need people to support it. And, and I think Frank, for example, knew it and saw the potential of it. So, so uh, this is, I think, how we can compete, and this is how we will maintain uh, our advantage on it. Frank, Hard where, work. Where do, you, where do you see the threat to Israel coming from? I don't mean from Iran with... Uh, Missiles, I mean, in terms of, uh, you know, in, in the TV space, you're in a very competitive market in, in, in the news world. So, you know, how do you, how do you perceive the threat and how do you deal with the threat? I think the threat is coming from the first question you ask to him, because I am not agree at all with the lecture uh, that you mentioned. Israel is not good at all in its own marketing. Mm -hmm. And the threat is here. Because, as we said, there is a lot of creativity, there is a lot of ideas, uh, and this is also the reason why of I-24 News, the Israeli marketing. And the day they will have a real strategy about the marketing, you will hear more about Israel and the success story. I mean, one thing I, I noticed with Israel is it, it was very good, and your companies are very good, at doing collaborations with foreign companies and linking up together as well. Um, you know, with, uh, with screens, how did you come together, you know, with, on Rising Star? You know, that was a creative meets tech uh, situation. So how, how did you create that? So first of all, it's a cash at uh, format and um, um, the, the technology part of it. And I think this is in, in all development. Uh, yeah, we will see it more and more that uh, the process is really changed in the last, uh, in the last few years. Um, there is a way. To, to do the development, and it should be in 2014. But uh, if you look at the content industry, um, till almost now, the development process was a lot of creative guys sitting in a one room for uh, nine months or, uh, or 10. And uh, then they launch their uh, product. And they are pretty sure that this is the best thing they, you know, that, that they are now um, very stable and, and, and ready to, to launch it. And, Sometimes they look for digital extension for it when they finish the, the concept. And when you think about the high-tech industry and the digital industry, it's, it's totally the opposite. Because it, it means that you start something, you get feedback from the audience, and you always change what you're doing. You get feedback all the time, and this is so different. Um, I think that in, in those days, the development process should be um, a creative director and a CTO sitting around the same table and developing a new format. And this is what we're trying to do uh, or, or, and, and doing with a lot of broadcasters and production companies around the globe. Um, and Screens gives that, you know, kind of uh, go with them hand by hand to the digital uh, uh, phase or field. Um, but this is a different kind of process that it's uh, not like a fall, it's more uh, kind of a scrum that everybody is... Uh, it's, a, it's a proper partnership is, is, is what you're describing. and. And Doran, how do you work with uh, creative companies and, and how do you help them to, uh, to deliver their content? Well, first, we're looking for a solution all the time to make it, you know, to come to our uh, client and say, listen, we can do something else, we can do it better, we can do it cheap, or we can do it, you know, we will get you the advantage that you need in order to have more client, more support, more more uh, interactive. So we're looking for companies that are in the, in the market 
we check them and, and we offer to our client the solution and we find. And we sometimes we find something that can reduce the price or can make it better. We come to our client and say, listen, we have something else for you. You should try it. We test it. It's working. Go for it. You know? and, and this is how we are usually looking. And, and, and we all the time, this is what we are doing. We are trying to focus on what we are doing and to deliver to our client, the businesses, a better solution, a better ideas, a, a better technology. So, so we, this is what we are looking at. We are not developing it, yeah. but we are implementing it very fast. We are testing it. We see that it's working. And then we offer to our client. And do you work with Frank? Yeah. So can you give us uh, an example between you of how that relationship works? It was tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was tough. Frank, how was the, yeah. the relationship for you? No, I have two kinds of partnership in Israel uh, because I'm not competing with the Israeli market. I'm not broadcasting in Hebrew. So I want to be also, it's part of our mission, the showcase of the Israeli industry, of the media. And uh, this is the reason why we have a lot of journalists coming in the channel and attending the debate and the talk show. So I have partnership of the content side with uh, Channel 2 and, uh, and the news. And uh, also, when I was starting to develop the international broadcast of the channel, uh, I wanted to be in Europe, I wanted to be in Africa, I wanted to be in Asia, in the Middle East since the launch. And uh, I prefer to deal with one guy than with 10 guys. And I discovered that link, we met together, and we understood, I have to say immediately, the spirit and the target of I24 News. And they offered me the opportunity in one shot to be in this whole area. So uh, this is another kind of partnership because as Doron said, uh, part of their job is to helping me to be more efficient and to go more faster than the others to compete. And Doron, how would you see the relationship with uh, I24? Well, again, as it's fun today, we, we met them and we looked at solution and what they need and we, and we come up with, you know, with, the, with the ideas how to do it, uh, to do it better and to do it cheaper and faster and reliable. And this is, it was a, you know, ongoing discussion until... Uh, until you said cheaper? <laughs> of course. There was always a place, though. There's always a deal. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can give an example. You know, we, we are broadcasting Reuters all over the world. So it's one place, one stop shot. Uh, and, and many others, client international. So we're mainly working with international clients. And, 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 and you know it's very very demanding. So so there is no place for mistakes. There is no place for making things wrong. So we need to look at it very carefully. We need to put the right technology in the right place, not too expensive, not too cheap. Sometimes you need to. And and this is something that we do with our client on a daily basis. We we check ourselves, and we come up with a solution for them or better ideas how to do it. And, and this is how we do it. For example, you know, we have a client that wants to broadcast to his boat all over the world, anytime, whatever is uh, shipping. So, so we find a solution to that, and this is what we are doing. Okay. Um, we'll come to the audience in a minute, so if you have any questions, um, have them prepared. I'm going to ask one more question before uh, I come to the audience. So, um, knowing that Israel is a small country with a small population, um, by nature you have to be internationally focused companies. So I'd like to ask all of you, how do you position yourself to tap into the international market? How do, how do you best uh, get that message across of what you do? So for me, it's easier because I'm coming from the international market. So I, I have to say one of my mission is to connect the world to Israel, but it's also to connect Israel to the world. And it's also a challenge to explain to the Israeli that the world is existing. But I'm, I'm bringing this experience and I'm, I'm trying to with I24 News to connect the Israeli media to the world and to make them understand what is the reality of the international market and to connect the international market and tell them, look, what you are using is Israeli and you don't know about it. Yeah, I mean, Doran, you said just before that, you know, your focus is very international. What percentage of your business is, is international? 85%, maybe 90 Now, in the last few years, we are more focused on Israel uh, and, and we extended our uh, client in Israel internally, but we are mainly international. We are, the company has already exists for 20 years. So, so we, and the location of Israel uh, in, in, in matter of satellite, it's a strategic one because we see most of the world. We see uh, the Asia, we see uh, Africa, we see uh, 
Europe, and, and we see part of the state. So it was very easy for us in that terms to uh, approach to international uh, companies. Of course, we need to support it with good, a good uh, atmosphere, good people, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and good service. Which yeah. in Israel, I think uh, we can provide it in a very competitive uh, manner. Uh, Ellie, I know that you, know, you have an international office uh, in London run by the fantastic Ifat, who's been there for a couple of years. So you, you have physically set up offices, and I think in, in the States as well you have an office? Yeah, we, we are, um, have five uh, satellite uh, offices um, um, internationally, so in the States too and um, in, uh, in Europe. Um, and, but, but at the end, I think that uh, regarding your question, that you don't have uh, really a choice if you want to, you know, in Israel, um, of course, for IT companies, you must run it uh, internationally because uh, the market is so small. And from content perspective, the, from language to the amount of people that are, uh, you can, you know, approach that content or, or offer it to them, uh, we're talking about seven, seven million people and we are uh, consider over eight maybe and we consider uh, in the calculation you know like very small kids very old people um mm. so then when you you understand that you have like four million people four and a half million people that you can uh, create a economy with um it's uh, it's problematic for uh, for the long run yeah and but I, I think it's a great thing i think it's a great thing for israel because it makes all um, you know we see guys that are just students that are the, from the first day mm. They don't think local. They think internationally. It forces and you. Forces you to think. You know. Yeah, you don't have any world. other choice if no. you want to have uh, um, a big success. And yeah. in um, um, and even every creative guy in Israel, I think, um, kind of um, think between high tech and building a startup or yeah. creating formats or working in the advertising agencies. Yeah. But it's the same. It's all about creative and technology. I think is yeah. uh, you can see it in all generation that is now growing up. Okay. I know that um, we have some questions, so let's uh, go to the audience. There's a, there's a lady uh, with a hand up there first, and then there's a gentleman down here next. Uh, first, uh, first, thanks to you all, and I'm from JSBC, Jiangsu Broadcasting Corporation, one of the uh, leading uh, corporate provincial broadcasting broadcaster in China. And my question is to uh, the I24 news channel, and uh, actually we have our new own news channel supported by our own uh, news center, and we are trying hard to uh, build uh, our digital platform, uh, for example, the news app, and uh, we are producing some uh, social-based news shows, and uh, will you uh, just share your experience on two areas, first, the social-based news uh, TV show, and the second, uh, the news investigation based on big data uh, and uh, maybe online samples. Um, just uh, if you have done something in these areas, or may I have your suggestion of these areas? Thank you very much. It <laughs> it's, a, it's an item for another lecture. Yeah. <laughs> Um, first, first of all, of course, we are, as I told you, we are the last international news channel born in the digital era. So uh, everything is happening on the, the multimedia. It's very important for me to be connected. And uh, we are using the social media a lot, a lot. Uh, to, uh, we have daily questions that we, we are using as a poll in the, in the social media. But I have to say uh, the area where I'm using the most uh, in the social media is for the Arabic language. Because uh, after the Arab Spring, we understood that uh, all these Arabic countries are using a lot the social media. And I can tell you that most of the feedback which we have from the Arabic countries about I24 News is coming from uh, the, 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 the social media. And uh, the other question about how to produce some content uh, with the multimedia and the social media. Uh, I don't have specific one because as I told you before, uh, I don't want any border between uh, the content and the multimedia and the broadcast. Uh, everything that we are producing is for the broadcast, the multimedia, the smartphone, the tablet, the application. This is the reason why we are dealing with very short content. We have 10 minute news and we have 16 minutes magazine to be sure, to be sure that it can be downloaded very fast 
and people can watch on, uh, on their uh, screen. The idea is to watch I-24 news everywhere in the world because of the multimedia. Okay, thank you. Uh, question down here. Yes, I have uh, two questions. I'm Serge Ritsky from uh, Ecran Total, a French uh, magazine. Uh, one is for Frank and the other is for Doran. To Frank, uh, the question is, how do you break even? Because uh, uh, you're competing with uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, companies that have a large local market or uh, Al Jazeera is financed by oil and uh, uh, so what's your model and the second is to Doran do you have satellites you, do you own satellites so um, I-24 news is very special because I think it's the only one international news channel which is not belonging to government so we are a private uh, channel, but in America they don't belong. Yeah, but they are uh, they are uh, financed Large by market. a political party, which is not my uh, my case. Uh, the break even as a startup is in four years, so I have four years to break even. So how I will deal with it? First, uh, because when you are building in 100 days an international news channel, you have to prove that you are an international news channel. It's what we did, and after six months we decided to open. Uh, the commercialization of, uh, of the channel. So now we are uh, starting to, to build an international strategy uh, to get uh, international advertising because we don't have local market. We have only one signal. So if you are putting advertising on I-24 News, your spot will be broadcast everywhere in the world at the same time. So we are targeting the international companies for, uh, and the international brands for uh, the commercialization. We are also uh, starting to sell content because we have very specific magazine about the region of Israel. When you are dealing with defense item, it's very interesting also, but we have a lot of uh, reports uh, that we can do and specific one that you cannot find in other place. And uh, I will close with it. And the last thing is maybe uh, we will work on uh, pay TV distribution because you can uh, sh uh, share some revenue with some operators in the world. We're, we're short on time, so uh, the question, Doran, was do you own satellites or not? No, we don't, but our sister company owns a satellite, so we have uh, some extent to satellite. But again, we, we are not only satellite. We do any solution that is available, and we, we combine between them. So the, the, our idea is just to pick up whatever is needed and then we are not limited to one solution. We are open to all of them in order to, to produce a better solution to our client. Um, we're coming to the end of our time. I had one last question to ask you. And, and as a, an outsider, to me, Israel sometimes divides opinion, both politically and commercially. Um, there are clearly some countries that probably would have a problem dealing with uh, an Israeli company. How much does it restrict your business sometimes to be an Israeli company, um, Eli? Um, I think it's, in, it's, of course, in specific countries, and um, we, are, we are not, um, you know, in, in, we can't take, um, when, when you look at a business, I think the separation between uh, those uh, political uh, situations and, um, and the business, um, I think that it's, it's smart that it's separate, um, but it, of course, if um, uh, there is territories that don't want to work with Israel, um, you know, it's their, um, they need to handle it. Yeah, and that, that's not. Uh, uh, this is something we can. Uh, we, there is the rest of the world, and we are working there, and it's uh, it's all good. Doran, so, Doran, is that ever an issue for, for your business? Yeah, there is, of course. There is. Uh, there is uh, some countries. There is an issue. We find a solution by dealing with it. With, we do a cooperation with other companies, but I think some the country that, that doesn't want to lo work with Israel, I think they are missing something that is important to them too, uh, and this is to do things differently. But yeah. there is an issue. Yeah. But you, you know, we overcome those. Yeah, I mean, and, and Frank, with your business, it seems like your model is pretty much addressing that issue, which is that Israel divides opinion, and you want to to express that. Yeah, but uh, except Arabsat, I have to say, who doesn't want to broadcast the channel, I don't feel this kind of situation because we, if you prove that you have an impact and you are open mind, you can deal with that. And I have to say, on I-24 News, even the spokeswoman of the Hamas is attending the talk show once a week. Yeah. So after that, you can do what you want. Yeah. <laughs>
So yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're making the difference. Um, gentlemen, thank you for your time. A very interesting session. And thank you, the audience, uh, for joining us.